All right, for my second readathon that I am doing in September, this is one that I've been waiting to find out when it's going to happen, and it just happens to coincide with this month. So we are going to kind of choose the prompts right here and now together. And that readathon is the Magical Readathon by G over at Book Roast. I am excited. And like I said, we're looking at the prompts now and taking care of them. Now she did say that the month of September is to do the Novice Path and you only have to read two books in order to qualify. Um, I am going to choose a book per prompt because that's fun and I like making things crazier than they need to be, maybe, sometimes. I'm going to wait to do the character creation portion at another time since she says that we have until April to complete that. And that's three books. I can easily do a three book challenge on another month. I already know what race I want to be and where I'm from and all of that. Figure that out. But I'm already doing the Space Opera September readathon and have four books for that. Need to keep things somewhat manageable, right? Right? So I wrote down the prompts. So for the first prompt, The Novice Path, choose a book with a map in it. For that one, I am choosing Call of the Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. I finished the first book in this series, The Bone Ships, in August, so you'll hear about that in my forthcoming wrap-up. But this... has a fun map at the front. And I'm excited to continue this. I really enjoyed the last book more than I thought I was going to, which that's a good thing. If, you know, don't go into book. Mm. I don't try to go into books with low expectations. It was on my shelf because I heard it was a good read. I just didn't know what to expect from it and it blew my socks off. I forgot to say that this series follows a crew of the dead which means that they are all condemned prisoners, and so they are on the ship fighting for the government. Whether, I mean, they're gonna die anyway, might as well let them work and live otherwise. And they are following a sea dragon. Sea dragons have been gone from this world for many decades, and ends up there is one more still alive. And so this is the continuation of the first book. The next one is Ash Thorn Tree, which is on the top of my TBR. And I am going to borrow a book from my Space Opera September readathon, Velocity Weapon by Megan O'Keefe. I have been hearing a lot about this one and yeah, I want to know more. And this is about siblings who are separated by space and time and how their actions still affect one another. At least that's what I'm told. The Mist of Solitude, a st or a standalone. I don't think I read a lot of standalones. Oh. Sorry, down below I have a TBR shelf of just books that I have either purchased or I've borrowed from my parents or I've been given by other people to read and haven't finished. So. The book I'm choosing, I'm kind of stretching this. I, it's a book I have started previously, but I've never finished. And maybe this would be a good time to finish because it's a standalone. So why not? So we're going to do Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore. I've enjoyed it so far and I should at least finish the book. So this is an older book. I'm sure it's made its rounds on booktube before I joined, but about a young man who works in a bookstore and it's kind of a mix of a bookstore and a library and there are some interesting patrons that come in and he finds out what's going on. So the next prompt is Ruin of the Sky, Ghosts, A Haunted House, or Paranormal. And that is not my genre really. And I'm gonna have to go with the reread. It happened one doomsday. Paranormal just isn't something I usually gravitate towards so I don't have anything out from the library for this, but this book is about a young woman who has a lot of magical potential, um, and she runs a magic shop, and she comes across demons in the form of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, but they're not 
and horses. They are attached to cars. It was an interesting read the first time. I still have it on my shelf. So why not? Let's go ahead and reread this book. So next is Obsidian Falls, a thriller or mystery. And this is a book that my mom got from the bookstore and really enjoyed it and wants me to read it, even though this isn't normally my genre. And that is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. I know nothing about this, except it falls in this category. So again, why not? All right, so the next book on this list is Tower of Rumination, a five-star prediction, and for that I have Jordan E. Fue. I have Redemptor by Jordan E. Fueco. I this is awesome. Hmm. I also finished the first book of this in August, so thus forthcoming, but really loved Ray Bear. I have high hopes for this one. And Ray Bear is about a young woman who basically born in order to kill a prince, and is sent, that is what her mother sends her to do after raising her with minimal contact and no emotional support. Okay, and the last book is Aurelium Academy, which is a school setting, and I chose Mashley, Volume 1. This is a book that was recommended uh, by the Manga Host Club. Manga, oh, what is their name? Well, their Discord channel says the Host Club, a manga book chat. They normally read three volumes of a very popular manga, and then they read one volume of a obscure or not popular manga, and this was their obscure one, I think, in June? I think it was in June that I caught, I caught their show, and it sounded like fun. It seems to be kind of a riff off of Harry Potter, but where the main character is awful at magic and decides to solve things with his fist instead. But hey, has a school setting. That is my generous magical readathon, TBR. Again, I only have to read two of these in order to qualify for the novice path, but it's not fun to only choose two books for a readathon, so I chose seven. And it'll be fun to see how many I get through next month. Thank you and have a great day.